You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Dancing away in the break. Hey guys, I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Renee Ritchie. Welcome back to CES Live, ongoing continuous coverage of CES 2014. All the consumer electronics that you could possibly want brought right to you on this year table. Exactly. Well, maybe not the like 8K, we, can't, we couldn't quite fit it on. You missed it, you should have been watching. It was right, I'm sure oh, was it, was, it I don't know. Did it I, might, miss it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, uh, you know, uh, here on set, on our roving cameras out Absolutely. there. Absolutely. All that stuff is going out to you guys, either on the GeekBeat website, the iMore Slash website. Slash CES Live, all the things. Exactly. Everywhere. Everywhere. All right, so we've got more giveaways. We've been talking about the Scotty Vest and the Kef stuff that yep. we're giving away, but also, don't forget, we are giving away an NVIDIA Tegra Note 7 and yep. a NVIDIA Shield. I mean, they, they're fantastic. Every, everything that we have today is like super expensive. It's, there's, I, John said thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff. So uh, you guys go to geeky.tv slash giveaways. See, I keep changing it up on them. That's fine. That's all right, because I want you to know Keeping it nimble. we have you taken care of whatever you want to put in there. It'll Whether go. you're a pluralizer or a non-pluralizer, exactly. you're set. <laughs> all right. So we have Chris from Pelican Imaging. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. How is the show going for you? Is it's it crazy? Crazy. Every year is, is seems to be crazier and crazier. Because you may keep making better and better stuff. There is that. If you slow down, we'll <laughs> slow down, Chris. <laughs> exactly. Nobody wants that though, Renee. No, no, no not at all. encourage that. More, faster, please. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Pelican Imaging? What do you guys focus on and, and how would we know you? So we focus on a light field camera that is super thin that will go into mobile. So it's half the thickness or nearly half the thickness Hold on. Okay. That's too tiny to show off on the big camera. We're going to come over here. When you say light field, what do you mean? I mean... Um, that's the camera? Yeah, that's okay. the camera. So it's an array camera. Okay. Uh, it takes 16 images, same field of view for each image, and we, we fuse those images into a high resolution um, still or video. So it's sort of like with HDR, we learned about taking lighter and darker images and making a composite. This way we're taking a, a different depths of field with each different lens and then we could... And simultaneously, simultaneously. as opposed to in time. Oh, okay. So, so it's not sequential, it's all blur, at once. Yeah. Right? Uh, we could do video HDR as well. Wow. But mm -hmm. So what that, what that gives you and that, the disruption we think that, that provides, first you can do it in the form factor of the device that you carry in your pocket. Right? So here's a... I don't know if you want to put that on yeah. as well. Three of our best looking engineers. <laughs> um, hey guys. Yeah. So it gives you the, you know, the standard kind of refocus effect you can do. You can do that, but you can also... Wait, so this is all post-processing. Right. Yeah. So you can post-refocus. The first thing it gives you is a all-in-focus image. So everything in the image is going to be in focus. So if you're five years old or you're 95 years old, you can't miss the picture. Wait, I've seen how they do those product shots, and it involves many, many cameras almost taking layer by layer right. of the product. But you're doing that with one shot. One shot, everything's in focus, and then you get the depth behind it. Huh. So if you look at like an image like this, I've refocused on two depth planes, yeah. the back and the front, and the middle person is actually out of focus. Yeah which is not a natural image, but it may be the image that you want to get without Photoshop, with it's your finger on a screen. Opposite that's, of a tilt shift. Now, that's awesome. The, so, the hey, way we get that, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So the way we get that is we compute a depth map. So there's a depth map that's wrapped into that JPEG, oh, okay. or the, the standard video, right? And then we, we know where everything is in relative space. And we can do that dynamically in video as well. A lot of math. I know, right? <laughs> there is a lot of math, yeah. It, there's a lot of computation going on. Um, you need the grunt of the, the new processors, like the Qualcomm processor. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. To actually get that done. Um, and then we take that and we regularize it so that we smooth it out, in other words. So that we can do things like 
dynamic segmentation. You can touch on somebody, segment them, extract them or expand them in the photo, and you don't have to go to Photoshop to do it. You're doing it with your finger on well, because, for example, my mom, like, I spent 10 years using Photoshop, but my mom has not spent a day using well, Photoshop. Right. Uh, she's not going to. So she can, and we're seeing this, like we had autofocus, things like auto white balance, but now more and more stuff we can actually affect after we've taken, the, we're moving all the power from the glass and from pre-capture into the post-capture stage. Right, so uh, it's because the, the data is wrapped into that image and it's persistent with the image. So even after the fact, if somebody writes a, a new app to the platform, third party, that's a new okay. app to, to the platform, um, you can do more with that because it's really a software-defined image or software-defined camera at that point. So RAW let me fix the exposure, but now I could give you this picture and you could change the actual blur and So we could have the, the same focus. picture. Yeah. You and I could have two totally different pictures. That's right. Very and you could share that on, on, you could share something on Facebook, you could change it. Ooh. Wars. Yeah. I yeah, see picture exactly. wars coming a up. Dumb question. Well, I, I've seen these things and they're gigantic. How did you get all of that into something this small? Yeah, so we collapsed the focal plane um, by going with a, an array type of okay. approach. And that's one of the keys to actually getting it into um, a mobile device. Okay, a phone, a tablet, something right. like and, that. And we, we have a, a few mobile customers that um, we hope will be shipping in Q1, Q2, 2015. Um, so uh, they're, they're, they're looking at this and they're saying, how can we make our devices actually thinner than we make them today? Because the cameras are actually setting the thickness of those devices yeah, today. Yeah, absolutely, the, right, Z, the exactly. Z index. Right. Because cameras so, love big beefy lenses and we're trying to put them in ultra thin devices. Exactly. They don't play well together. And right. so this would, this would be a, a solution. Right. That is really so cool. So besides that. But, but, along, but along the lines of what you said earlier, so yeah, this would be a solution for that, but we would still need major processing power for it. For sure. Okay. okay. Especially for the, the first use case is uh, video, because we're literally at 30 frames per second combining those individual images into a video stream. So that's a lot of compute. Can we yeah. do that now? Like, could an A7 or a Snapdragon 800 do that now? Or are we waiting on whatever's coming next? So we can do that now. In fact, it's, it's being done on this. You want to show and us? Or, or what is this you have? Oh, I was just going to show you. Some more? This is, uh, you know, just, you know, measurement. And it's actually measurement of depth. Oh, so you're, just, you're saying well, how far that rock is from that, or the game piece is from the other game piece. Right. So could architecture, architects use this? Exactly. Okay. Nice, Kelly. Or if you- I for, score! Do I get a prize? You did. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in whether that couch is going to fit into your living room or something like that, it becomes oh, yeah. an easy thing to do. So yeah, as home design goes, that is very interesting. So you're, you're constantly like, um, designers and people like that could use this to right. make sure that, that that everything's gonna work properly. Well, my right. interest is is that you know I have fancy cameras and I still get blurry pictures. And I'm hoping that your technology like, there'll be a fantastic opportunity. Yes. I'll take that one snapshot, once in a lifetime shot is out of focus, I'll be able to fix it. Yeah. Yeah well so the, the first thing is it won't be out of focus. Because everything in that snapshot will be in focus all the time. You it's have just stopped how me. You, it's just you, and then you can focus exactly what you You have want. stopped me from being a bad photographer, sir. Yeah. I have done my best. Because <laughs> I can't stand his photos on. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just joking, Renee. <laughs> I can take it. Constructive criticism. So, beyond the, just the depth itself, uh -huh. um, I think that the point of disruption that, that some of the mobile OEMs are looking at is actually 3D scanning. So, this is capturing a native 3D. Okay. So literally, we are starting the, the core work to scan things so that you can avatar them or print them. Okay. And that seems to be one of the biggest uh, driving forces for, for our customers today. It's hugely competitive now. I mean, Apple, Nokia, HTC, everyone wants to have the best camera on the planet, yeah. period. And they need these kind of features to be the next generation best camera. Right. 
Well, I, the chat room is loving this, as, as we are. Um, this is really, really interesting. How can people uh, access it? How can people use it, or can they yet? So we're going to be, it's not yet. Um, but a tease. We're, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be um, selectively coming out with an SDK. Okay. And some demo units so that people can start writing um, applications on top of the platform. Okay. And it's important to say that it really is a platform. Um, so we're going to allow access to that data so that people can write segmentation or um, once you get a high resolution point cloud, when scanning of a 3D image, you're going to need to triangulate that into a model, right? So that you can print it or whatever. Yeah. And there are people that know how to do that better than we do. Yeah. So that's why we, we would uh, allow access to that. You have a China doll I want, I can scan it. I have my own China doll. Oh, Boom. You copied me again. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Pelican Imaging. Uh, what's the website? Yes. Pelicanimaging.com. Beautiful. All right, thank you. Thank and you. you have a great rest of the CES. Good luck with all the developments. Appreciate it. You guys, thank you so much for joining us here at CES Live. We're not done yet, so don't go away. And we will be right back with more. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm Renee Ritchie. Bye. Stay tuned. I see you.